Welcome YouTubers and today I'm going to show you a really cool ROM here that I have installed on my phone uh, through let's go to the XDA forum now this ROM is hopefully I get this said right it's a Duxter ROM version 23 uh, the download for it is uh, here's some screenshots it's further on down and there's several versions of this download. I went ahead and downloaded the GDUX 1.0 full. Okay, the reason why I went for this one was because it's the full thing. I like to get it all. And these are for the Samsung Galaxy S4s who unfortunately messed up and updated their phone. You know, and this, I'm going to just stick with, say, this is a Verizon thing. Um, and uh, we have to install SafeStrap and load certain things specifically based off SafeStrap. So this is a cool ROM that... Uh, you use um, safe strap for and it looks really neat especially if you're one of those people who like to everything has got its own little graphic it's really cool so let me go to external card here and go to download make sure I have it right here the ducks 23 okay disregard everything else that you see here because I'll be working on that later so what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna go ahead and reboot I guess on this one I'll be restart. Um, go and restart the device and, and then load into safe strap. And I'm going to show you um, basically you'll take this zip file that you see here. You'll go into the safe strap, create your ROM, create the size of the ROM that you wish to have. Um, like we've done before in several other videos. Um, if you're not quite sure how to navigate through the safe strap, please go to the form. Um, hopefully I'll link the form down below for safe strap as well as this form here. And, uh, you'll get an opportunity to see how to do all that stuff, you know, and definitely, of course, make an Android backup. It's an identical image of what you have on your phone current right now. So and it'll save your rear end when things go wrong. You can put stuff back on. So I'm going to go ahead and see it's disabled. I'm going to go to my recovery. That's to show you I'm just running on my stock ROM, you know, which I normally do most of the time anyway. Don't like to mess with it too much. If I want to do anything crazy, I'll just go ahead and, um, you know, put in a ROM slot. Like, see this one here? I see that it's Hyper at the moment, but we'll work on that later. Um, you can always change the name. So I went to Hyper. I'm going to activate it. Okay. I've already created the ROM slot. Like, see, if I had gone to ROM slot 2, it, asked me what I it would ask me what I want to do, uh, the sizes I needed, and I could create the ROM slot. But I've already done that. So I go to Hyper here. Uh, let's, excuse me, let me go back one. Okay, now I'm in my ROM slot one. That is the uh, ROM slot that I've got the, uh, this ROM attached to, okay? The GDUX. So you can choose, you go to install here. You'll find the you know Dux 23 right here, full Verizon Wireless uh, googly.zip. You click on that and you swipe it. And you're good to go. This does not have one of those like Aroma installers or anything like that. It just runs through its own program. And then you just reboot and enjoy. So what I'm going to do is now that this is already here, I'm going to reboot the phone. Okay. Now, I just all I did was install this yesterday. Um, looked at it for a few minutes and stuff and decided that it would be a great video for you all to see. Um, that I believe that you, you know, you would enjoy. And, um... If, you, if you're a person like me, you know, I like a lot of graphics and stuff. So I just can't imagine how long it may have took to put all those kind of graphics together because it's it's a lot of work. And I got a guy I work with here who likes to, you know, see, look at this, isn't this sweet? Once it, you know, the first time you load, it might take about five minutes or so, but after that, this is less than like 20 seconds. It's really quick. And then, um, but yeah, a guy that I work with, you know, does all kinds of cool graphic stuff, and he was really impressed by this. So this is the front screen. Pretty neat. Swipe screen to unlock. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, this is the cool stuff. If you look down below, you got your apps, your messaging, your contacts, your phone. You see how cool everything looks. You go to your apps. Some of these apps have been readjusted, like your Dropbox looks different. Um, this is all the stuff that came preloaded with it. You know, your Play Store looks more like a little handbag. Uh, you got some really cool stuff here. I, I have not messed with any of these. System app, uninstaller, final switch. Um, on Look at that. Online Android. 
I believe in the form he talks about that, how awesome that is. But um, we'll come back. Okay. So here up here you see the 4G and you see the little bars and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Um, you come down here, you can see all these cool little graphic things in the settings. And also this little, see this here? You got like a little rim with hands-free mode. You got your power saving. You got airplane mode. It's an actual looking three-dimensional aircraft. Um, air gesture, air view, all these other good things. So that's pretty cool. Um, we can go to the notification panel. You can go to different settings. Set those the way you want. Uh, we can go back down. We can go to settings here. Now in settings, uh, if we go down some, excuse me, um, we want to go to more. Uh, well, we'll just go to about device and see what it says on here. Okay, here's the ROM by the Hacker ROM team. There's our page, software update. There's your status, legal information, device name. See, I put my name in there, whatever. Uh, model number, Android version, all this other cool stuff. You know, I'm not too... Sh no, it's pretty neat. Same kind of similar things. Some, some of these developers like to add some stuff too, which makes it pretty cool. That's all right. So we'll go back. Um, here it is. Ducks are control. Okay. If I am saying this wrong, then please forgive me, but that's what I think it says, the duckster. Okay, so you got your tools, sound settings. It's pretty neat. All this cool stuff that you can do on here. Uh, device control, your busy box, your app ops, which is uh, coming back now. I guess it's like an old school thing or whatever it used to be, or not really that old school, but it seems to be on the rise. A lot of these um, ROMs I'm putting on here seem to have app ops installed. Pi control, that's pretty sweet. System information ink effects, stuff like that. Ad free is really cool too. Um, your device can, uh, let's see, your tools. You got your, I, I don't know about doing all this stuff on these. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into those um, as far as the exposed installers on next, on these on this phone with this type of safe strap and everything like that. I don't know if I'll screw anything up. I'll look in that later. But basically, I wanted you all to see this cool ROM. You know, and, and it's been working really well for me. I mean, heck, you pull up the dialer. I don't know, a lot of people in the forum seem to have problems, but I just did the full version. I mean, my logs, dialer, all this stuff works. My contacts, whatever they would be, you know, they're all good. So it's pretty neat. And I really like the graphics in here. So I hope you all enjoyed this. The link will be down below. Um, you've got the option to install this. It's something new, something different. So um, give... Give this guy some credit. Give him a thumbs up if you get on the X day, if you log into that stuff and enjoy it. It's really cool. Um, I hope you liked this video today. Um, thumbs up and then subscribe. And uh, the more subscribers I get, the more thumbs up I get, the more I start pushing this stuff out for you all to see. It gives you the option to, to, to just enjoy. So, all right. Y'all take care.